let us move on to some 12C facilities. They will make life a bit easier. There's a whole new privilege, the inherit privileges privilege. Or we'll indeed inherit any privileges, privilege, any privileges privilege. That's system privilege, of course. This, well, any privileges are system privileges, any privileges is an object privilege or a new type of object. We can now assign privileges, grant privileges on users. So it limits the owner's inheritance of privileges from the invoker. Oracle Corporation is presumably reasonably happy with the way definer's rights code works. And definer's rights code, as I demonstrated, can be highly dangerous. And, pro and that hasn't really changed in the current release, except as we'll see with the ability to grant roles to code. But in invoker's rights, we've got huge differences. And that's the inherit any privileges privilege. If you don't have the inheritance enabled, any attempt to execute invoker's rights code will fail because the definer will not be able to inherit the rights of the invoker. So I'm going to go straight in to do it and then go through the rest of the slide so we can see the sort of issue. So let me lose 11G and go to 12C. So what I shall do is create my low privileged user or drop user dev, I don't think he exists, no he doesn't. So I'll create my low privileged user, grant, create session, create procedure, smack any table to dev, identified by dev. So that's the same mechanism I used, the same command I used in 11G. I'm creating a developer with the bare minimum that he needs to do his job, which is writing code that lets people query the database. Then log on as him, connect dev slash dev, and create my procedure. So I'll create a version of the code, create a replace procedure list amp, auth ID current user, invoker's rights code. And remember, this gives my low privilege user dev the ability to insert something horrible in his code, which will then be executed with the invoker's rights. All right, so we create the privilege, uh, sorry, create the procedure. Now, connect slash assist EBA, I'll be the highest possible person there is, set server output on, and run the code. So, execute dev.listemp, looking for the clerks. I can't do it, even as user sys. I can't run that because of the lack of this new privilege. I can correct the situation. I can grant inherit privileges on user sys, which of course one would never normally do, to dev. So I'm now giving my low privilege user the ability to inherit the privileges of user sys when we are running invoker's rights code. And having done that, the code now succeeds. Right, so that's the general principle. Without that inherit any privileges code, all that inherit any privileges privilege, all your invoker's rights code is now blocked. It simply won't run until you grant that privilege to your trusted user. So without inheritance, the invoker's rights code will fail. This privilege is in fact granted by default in 12.1 when a user is created. I believe this is purely for backward compatibility. So you don't have to worry about all your code ceasing to function the moment you have to upgrade, but there's no guarantee that this situation will remain as we go through 12.2, 12.3. Also with upgrades, I haven't had the time to test comprehensively every possible method of upgrade, but certainly the simple tests I've done so far the privilege does appear to be being granted. And we can see it. If we look at the who's been granted this privilege so far, oops. select grantee table name privilege from DBA tab proves where privilege like inherit. And we see that straight out of the box, inherit privileges, privileges on a number of users have been granted 
to public. They have been granted to public. So if I create a user, a brand new user, if I grant connect to JW identified by JW, we will see that in the current release, there he is, inherit has been granted to public. So in the current release, by default, your code will continue to function. And Oracle often does this with a very part with powerful new features. Uh, by default, it's configured so there's no change. And then the next release, it all changes. That's happened with quite a few releases, quite a few new features. And it wouldn't surprise me if by the time you get to, say, 12.2, and certainly by the time you get to 13, this behavior changes. So plan for it. And look at that privilege, see who it's been granted to. And to secure your systems, what you need to do is revoke all the inherit privileges grants that are there by default, and then grant inherit any privileges very, very sparingly, only to a very few trusted users. And that should tighten up the danger of, in, of definers inheriting invokers' rights. So a few trusted schemas create the code in those schemas only and control this very tightly indeed.